What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shed, Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Being mixed race is often considered a privilege in China. Filters on Chinese social media apps give users the chance to see what they would look like with mixed features. But this mixed race fixation is centered around the Chinese and Caucasian look. Eileen Gu grew up in the US, but often refers to herself as a Chinese girl. Being half Chinese and half black, is a different story. It's not uncommon to see anti-black sentiment in China. They show alleged mistreatment by Chinese officials of African students and workers living in Guangzhou. From blackface on national TV to commercials extolling the virtues of laundry detergent that washes away black features, no. blackness is often stigmatized. Yo, he came out the opposite. Look her face. She's excited. It's like she grew up her own little man. She washed him clean and he came out anew. That's hard work, bro. Y'all advertising stuff like that? Did I what? Bro, that's crazy work, see? I'm I'm speechless. I ain't got nothing to say, baby. And y'all know it's hard for me not to come and start talking. <laughs> that's, uh, I, 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 I gotta say that one more time. She threw him in there. Living in Guangzhou. From blackface on national TV to commercials extolling the virtues of laundry detergent that washes away black features, I gotta see shoes blackness is often stigmatized. Yet China has That's been Africa's work. largest trading partner for over a decade, with transactions rising to a record high of 254 billion in 2021, which has led to much more than just the exchange of trade. Wash 然后我爸就是带着我在爷爷奶奶这边，因为他希望我能在北京接受教育。我我妈妈和我爸爸就在我大概四五岁左右，他们就离婚了，所以之后就呃他也没有再来过中国。Eden is a fashion designer and model. She thinks of herself as a typical Beijing girl, but not everyone sees her that way. 我有一次有一个。朋友就这个男生，但是他有一次说了一句话，就让我觉得挺傻的。他就说：“哎，我觉得你最近就是越来越好看了，你要是那个呃白人混血，你就完美了。”就这句话，我觉得听起来超级有问题的。但当时我就
hearing that it, it worries me. It concerns me. Right, because to bump it to somebody, mm. you know what I'm saying, and then they have that idea or that perspective. Right. Um, a lot of sometimes society, and especially like images like these guys seen on TV, they some people want you to believe that your skin tone is your superpower. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And oftentimes, it's just like who you are as an individual. You know what I'm saying? If people can accept you like that, they won't have a problem with your skin tone. They won't have a problem with you trying to look one way or try to be the other mm -hmm. way or being mixed purposely because they think you're going to live a lifestyle like this. And right. it's, it's just an issue at hand. Like she said, it is problematic when you hear it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Somebody come at you like you mentioned as well to go out there and someone come at you and say, yeah, your hair is nice and this and that. But if you had a tint more of this on you, right. it's like, what? Right, it don't make sense. Because I wouldn't want to be nothing other than black. I love and me. And we spoke about that. I, I love me. I, everybody should love themselves. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and for her to be there since she was two and then not have her mom, I can only imagine her childhood. Mm. I can only imagine it. Yeah. Had to need one term that was about the treatment here. Guangzhou in the south of China plays host to one of Asia's largest African migrant populations. Although accurate data is scarce, it's estimated that anywhere up to around 500,000 African migrants live in China. Many settle down and start families with their local partners. According to researchers, there's been a history of anti-black racism in China dating back to the 17th century, when Chinese aristocrats participated in the Indian Ocean slave trade. But more recently, netizens have become anxious about Chineseness after proposed changes to the permanent residency requirements were announced in 2020 to make it easier for foreigners to settle in the country. The proposal was met with controversy from a generation who sacrificed having more children for economic growth under the one-child policy, and it boosted a growing nationalist sentiment in the country. There is this link between anti-black racism and growing Chinese nationalism, and especially a kind of racial nationalism. It's the imagination of the nation as a biologically related and reproductive unit. They said it's unfair for foreigners to acquire Chinese nationality when we have so many Chinese babies who were aborted. Blackness and also other kinds of foreigners became the scapegoat for collective trauma of the Chinese nation. The new proposal was actually not that radical. It removes some hurdles for foreigners to apply for permanent residency in China. Opponents of the bill believe that the new regulations will encourage immigration of undesirable foreigners, and by which they really mean darker skin, especially foreign men. The sentiments were um, especially related to the perceived influx of African men in China in recent years, especially in the city of Guangzhou. And they're sort of perpetuating the racist myth that um, black African men are sexual predators, irresponsible um, husbands and fathers and people. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Um... Mm. That can't be true for everybody, but I understand that it's, it's general, making general statements. Yeah, so. it's a general statement, paint a picture when it comes to a black male. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. basically saying they oh, impregnate like they impregnate women and they just bounce. So it's like, that's a bad look oh, like when that. people continuously speak that out of their mouths. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm. Who brought HIV AIDS into China. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Responsible um, husbands and fathers and people who brought HIV oh. AIDS into China. Many of the Africans in Guangzhou were, in fact, short term traders, entrepreneurs, owners of small businesses who have actually contributed a great deal to the Chinese economy. And China's current visa requirements 
pose an onerous burden on them. And even if some of them have married a Chinese person, they may not be able to stay in China for very long and to form a stable family. Oh no, the commercial. 洗衣机的那个广告就是一个黑人进去以后，然后就洗出一个好像是亚洲人吧，还是白人。就是我当时就感觉说，这个广告真的就是非常非常的奇怪，嗯，因为它从侧面的的含义感觉就好像说黑人是一个脏的还是怎么样。嗯、然后我也能经常看到，就是说，如果在社交媒体上。嗯，谈论到黑人的话，下面的评论一般都会什么样子？然后，对我经常都会看到一些，就是我觉得是真的是非常恶毒的话。关注我的人比较少，但偶尔我还是会收到私信，就是说那种我我求你滚回非洲吧，就这种。然后，但是我看到最多的，其实我觉得是那些就是，比如说在跟黑人谈恋爱的女孩，然后他们发了他们的自拍，然后下面就会有很多人去。一是攻击黑人，然后是攻击那个跟黑人谈恋爱的女孩，就会叫她妹黑婊啊，然后会说什么，嗯，你们生小孩，那个他就跑了啊之类的，就这种话。这个我还是能看到挺多，就是，尤其是比如说小红书上那种，呃、嗯，呃、嗯，发自己就是混血女儿，然后是个白人女孩的话，呃、嗯，经常下面评论就都是那种哇，好可爱，就是小洋娃娃，然后什么的。苏菲亚。不仅颜值很高，他的性格也非常好。然后，但是如果是一个就是黑人混血小孩的话，下面可能就经常是那种说，他爸还在这儿吗？然后那个或者说什么，天哪，就是怎么怎么做到，就是怎么敢和黑人，就是这种，就类似于这样的话。哇哦！ Of course, not all mixed race experiences in China are the same. Audrey is also mixed race, but has led a very different life. I am a mixed race Chinese. My father is an American. My mother is an American, but she is actually a Chinese. I was born in America, in Pennsylvania, and I came to the United States when I was very young. 我觉得我从小就对于自己混血儿的身份就比较敏感。我决定学习舞蹈之后，我就去了一个私立的舞蹈学校。我长得就是一个外国人的面孔，然后其他的孩子都是可能二三线城市来的，没有北京人。当时的校长还比较喜欢我，因为我小的时候又白又圆又胖，然后可能他们都觉得挺可爱的，然后他还。对我的关照又比较多，呃，所以这个可能跟我混血儿的身份它是有直接关系的。确实，从小就会有人跟我说：“哎呀，混血儿聪明，然后那个那个父母双方离得越远越聪明越好看什么的。”然后就说混血儿有多么神啊什么的，我也就听听就算了。Similarly, mixed race skier Eileen Gu still managed to find praise, national pride, and sponsorship deals in China after winning three Olympic medals. All of the startup comes with heavy pressure of being half Chinese and half American at a time of heightened geopolitical tensions. She grew up in the States, but switched her allegiance to competing for China when she was 15. Because in recent years. 很多比较有名的混血儿被推上了这个国际舞台，从而我们这个人群就更被关注。就比如说，有一次我在逛商场的时候，然后有一个人就说：“哎，你是谷爱凌吗？”现在我们需要像他这样的 idol， 他是真的非常的优秀。同时呢，我又很羡慕，说他能够被。At a time when social media is full of mixed race Eurasian filters and a preference for Western beauty standards, Audrey was cast as the female lead in Jay Chou's music video. Oh, we saw it. 大众眼里的混血儿的话，我的想法是，就我的感觉是哈，就你经常你无论是翻
一些什么社交媒体平台啊，还是什么的，都有什么仿混血妆，或者哪个哪个明星是几分之几几分之几。但实际意义上来讲，如果把这么一个人放到他们面前，他们就觉得哦太多了，就不行，就你不够中国了。所以说，我就觉得，嗯，就你又又就好像大家就挺喜欢混血儿，但是又觉得不够中国。嗯，所以我不知道他们到底是想，就是你们想要什么。我作为一个半个白人、半个亚洲人的混血。I'm rewinding. That shoe works for a lot of different mixed babies. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're mixed American, mixed Chinese, mixed Black,、uh, African, um, whatever it is, it always it's like that standard that profiling is on two sides of the、uh, of the spectrum, and people are looking at you and saying, "Yeah, I hear you, but." Like you, you're not dancing like how we get down. You, right. Like you lost the motion. You know what I'm saying? You got people over here say, "Well, you're a little louder than we usually are here, so we need you to tone it down." Some. It's、mm -hmm. like it's harder that way for most people to get involved because of their views or how people view them. It reminds me of the conversation we had about、um, Nigeria's tribalism when we was learning about that. I remember. And I understand, like that's why I always say you gotta know people's history to understand why they think the way they think about certain topics. I couldn't imagine going through、um, a time where I could only have one kid, and it was that was mandated. I I couldn't have any more. Like that that choice was taken away from me,、mm. and now all of a sudden people could have more than one kid. I could understand the the envious. And the the rift that they would have with people wanting to come in, but that's why I always say when you make a decision to have a child in this world that is under a whole caste system, everywhere you go,、mm. there's a caste system. It is, yeah. When you make a decision to have a child with someone of another race, another culture, you have to be responsible、That's、for that、much. child's experience because they're gonna have feelings like this, where they feel like they're not enough. Feelings where where they feel like they will never be accepted by their society, especially when they grew up there. The other girl who's half African, half Chinese, she's been there since she was two. Right, right. She's not even speaking English. <laughs> she ain't even say one English word. For real,、nah, she may hate, speak English, but she、yeah. ain't speaking it in this video, okay?、Mm -hmm. And she's still not accepted, and she's having these microaggressions that people are having, and and she's laughing it off, like th that's a whole different. Nah, I can't speak to that because I'm not a mixed person. I don't have mixed children, but I just know from the outside looking in that that's hard. Yeah, and I believe you hit it dead on the nail. You did. 但是又觉得不够中国。Not Chinese enough. 所以我不知道他们到底是想，就是你们想要什么。我作为一个半个白人、半个亚洲人的混血，我受到的一些对待会稍微好一点点。我会觉得，首先歧视。这个肤色比较深的人的这个情况，在国内是真实存在的，但是在混血儿的这个语境当中，跟我一样，他也觉得我就是中国人。但是当别的人又歧视他的时候，因为他的肤色，他可能会觉得我跟你们一样啊，你们为什么要这样歧视我呢？ There is not only one racial discourse in China. There are actually several competing racial discourses. There is this like Eurocentric、um, sort of white supremacist order、um, that fetishizes、yes. whiteness. But then we also have the kind of Sinocentrism, Chinese nationalism, or Han ethnocentrism that kind of seek to demote the symbolic power of whiteness. When we look at Lo Jing, who was a contestant on a television show, and who's a mixed race、uh, African American and Chinese girl, we can see the the netizens' response to her appearance in public was really hostile. And if we compare like her treatment with Eileen Gu, we can definitely see that a lot of Chinese people seem more readily、um, accepting. Sort of Eurasian、um, Chinese mixed race people,、um, while sort of、um, antagonistic to this idea of oh,、uh, a black mixed race person、um, can represent Chineseness or 
and especially Chinese standard of beauty. I think the Guanling is in his own career, he is definitely very talented. But he has a lot of influence. He has a lot of influence. 就是益处，因为如果是同样的，就是，呃、嗯，同样成就的中国女运动员，可能就不会被宣传的这么厉害。就我觉得，可能他这个身份，就是对他来说，可能褒贬就是都会都会有，嗯。然后，但我同时我也会想说，就是假如同样是一样成就的一个女孩，但她如果是准备混血。呃，或者是，嗯，对，我觉得可能确实不会有这么大的宣传的力度。我确实就不是很喜欢被别人标签化，因为我感觉就是那并不是全部的我，只是你看到的很小的一部分。就是随着时代变化，然后就是更多的外国人来到中国，就是混血肯定会越来越多。他们可能一时间觉得说，好像我的。国家被侵占了，或者怎么样？但是其实我觉得就应该把它看成一个很普通的一个事情。但是同时，我觉得那些确实刻板印象非常深的人，就是这个还是比较难，因为对他们的他们的脑子里面，他们想象的黑人他就是那个形象。Yeah, I'm gonna stop it right there. Uh, I'm glad they even talking about this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's an issue that obviously they、uh, want to get resolved. But viewing a person through stereotypical lens is not healthy. You are basically doing the ultimate thing, which is judging a person before you have any level of interaction because of how、right. you believe them to be, before you are able to receive them to be. You know what I'm saying?、Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a dangerous act. We are more than our skin color. Yeah, hundred percent. Judges by our character. Yes. See my heart. Yes.、Yeah, see our heart. <laughs> see my heart. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but to the people with melanin in your skin. Maybe nothing wrong with you.、Mm. You are beautiful. Come on, talk about okay? it. Okay, never care what society have to say. Nah, they're say they're jealous.、Twice. Say it twice. They're jealous. That's yeah, the, that's, that's all. That's all hatred that's is. Hatred is just jealousy.、Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're confused. That's what it be like. They just confused.、Mm -hmm. Don't I? I just I want more people to just. Have a carefree attitude when it comes to people who place these these stereotypes on you and make you feel bad about yourself.、Mm. We are all different, but at the end of the day, we all have the same skin. We it's just a color. Yeah, yeah. Just more pigment, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It is. It's beautiful.、Uh, Stand in who you are. Yeah. And own it. Walk in the room when they start looking at you crazy. Give them something crazy to look at. That's it. Wait,、okay. what you mean? Give us some crazy look at some. I mean, do a twirl or something. Do a twirl. Okay, you gotta, gotta emphasize. Pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and what? Yes. <laughs> in, the 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 in the middle of the flow. In the middle. Give them something to talk about. <laughs> They're talking about it anyway. Yeah, man. Um, and just break the narrative. You know what I'm saying?、Yeah. They're gonna receive you the way they believe you to be. First of all, anyway, but、mm -hmm. you gotta approach them if you feel like you want to do that. Say hello, speak to them, ask them, "Hey, are you feeling great today?" Just wanted to let you know I'm feeling great today.、Mm -hmm. Like little small acts like that just kind of make people be like, it 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 it, it sparks curiosity because they didn't think that way about、yeah. you. You know what、yeah. I'm saying? But I ain't letting nobody touch my hair. That's where I cross the line at. Yeah, she mentioned they do that too. I worked all day in the mirror to get the afro the way it's it's at. Okay? They don't touch. To the wind gonna get it. <laughs> all that, all that moist air, that fur is gonna. I let the wind, but you ain't about to come touch my hair and put a hole in my afro. That's why I, st I drew what, a line. What? The fingers coming in? Uh huh. <laughs> the yeah,、claw. I've had that happen to me.、The、I had、claw. to go to go to reach my hair. You gotta just snatch the hand. Gotta、okay? just snatch the just hand. Snatch the hand. All right. Not、just、too、like、fierce, just you know what I'm saying, just, just a little, little guy. Stick on, you know, little Heisman. Put the Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.